Hey everybody, welcome to our recovery week. It's a little bit daunting and scary. I know sometimes to think about taking a whole week that we kind of mellow out. We are still going to make sure that we get lots of planks and core contractions and we'll still build some heat here and there, but we're definitely going to back off the intensity and it's super duper important and healthy. And we're gonna focus on a lot of just regenerative um activities foods drink uh start your morning with a lemon water and take a couple deep breaths some time to just fill the lungs and uh, breathe all the way out and get a little bit of space in your mind and uh, then after we get through this week we get a new session of formatting. And if all of the chill recovery work just totally drives you crazy and you're still wanting to drive your intensity, then go back and revisit some of the sessions that we've done in the past. So you're welcome to do that. But I am definitely going to force myself to back off a little bit. And um, I know that I've noticed in the past just how much more I can push and uh, get even more high intensity work done after I give my my body a little bit of a recovery. So here's what we're doing day one of our recovery week one, uh, starting on our hands and knees. So we're going to do a little wrist warm up. Spread your fingertips nice and wide. Your first finger, I want you to point straight ahead and then spread each fingertip really wide from there. And then push a little bit more into your thumb and first finger than you do into each of the other fingers. And that way that will help level off your pressure on the whole palm so it's not reaching out toward the pinky side of your wrist, which is generally kind of what happens. So I'm going to have you hinge your body forward as far as you can. Shoulders up past those fingertips if you can to stretch out those wrists. And then you're going to come back and then forward. So while we're hitting up this, you might feel some or hear some cracks and pops and loosening and uh, I don't know, just breaking up in there. And that's good. Our wrists or shoulders or back, whatever, hips, getting all those ligaments kind of ready to go. Keep your fingertips nice and wide. Just keep going back and forth. One more like that. And then we're going to hinge as far forward as we can again, really kind of put that pressure on. Keep your belly still kind of engaged, definitely engaged. All right, turn your wrists so that your fingertips point side to side, and we're gonna hinge left and right, and then make little circles over the wrists. Put pressure on your hands. And if this is too much, you just back off. You don't put quite as much weight. Go the other direction. I know that whenever I first started doing these wrist warm-ups, I couldn't quite put my whole body weight on my hands and so I would just kind of stay back, put a little pressure, take a little off, put a little pressure, take a little off. You can always use a table or a wall so it's not quite as intense. And then turn your fingertips back towards you. And then from there, you're just gonna kind of sit back. I've got my toes curled under too so I can get a little bit of a stretch on my feet. Bend your right elbow and left, right elbow and left. And then come up over your wrists again, and then just bend left and right elbow here. Straighten them and let your elbows kind of open away from each other and then dial them back. So just a little twist, a little twerk in those arms. I don't know if you can really see, it's not a lot of movement, but just open those elbows away from each other and then turn them back in. And then we're gonna do the same thing back into the front, turn your wrist back around, Elbows kind of open out away from you and then rotate them, internally rotate back to the middle. Belly holds strong. Slide the shoulder blades down. So still always be thinking about what's going on everywhere else. Okay, curl your toes under, sit back, and then just rotate your wrists. In and out and up and down. And then put the backs of your hands together and kind of rotate them back and forth there. Perfect. Okay, now let's go back onto our hands and we're going to do some cat cow. Again, remember, spread those fingertips nice and wide. Shoulders are right over the wrist, knees right underneath your hips. Now, this is not a passive move. We want to really activate 
Slide shoulder blades down as you breathe in. Push your chest forward, your tailbone lifts, and then exhale. Breathe out and really grab through the core, the torso, the trunk. Push into the hands. And then open back other direction. Inhale, lift the chest, push forward. Exhale, round. Push into those hands, tug the belly under. Inhale, push forward. Lift your chin, but don't grab the neck. So relax in the neck. Create space between ears and shoulders. Exhale, round. Three more. When you inhale, open the chest. Feel your shoulder blades contract, your back contracts. And then when you exhale and round, feel the belly contract. Last one. Okay, we're going to go into a thoracic twist. So I want you to neutralize your spine, plant into that left hand, take your right hand and place it behind your head. Now then make sure that your hips are level. We're going to rotate the right elbow up, keeping the hips level. So don't let your right hip rise and then exhale, drop the elbow down. You should feel pretty good on that mid back when you get that elbow lifted. One more. All right, other side. Plant your wrist right underneath the shoulder. Left hand behind the head. Inhale, twist, and then exhale, drop. Still tighten through that core and torso for me. Again, we are staying active here. It's recovery, but we're still flexing that core. We're still making sure that we're keeping the body in alignment. We want to take care of it and give extra to it, not jack it up. Getting stretch, mobility, rotation without the extra resistance of weights is really good. All right, that was our last one. Open your knees, hinge your hips back, put your big toes together. Again, spread those fingertips nice and wide. Really reach the arms forward, then push into the hands. Keep the elbows up off the ground and slide the shoulder blades back. Drop your forehead onto the ground. We're going to take a couple deep breaths here. Drop your right elbow toward the ground and then the left and then the right and the left. So what you're doing to drop the elbows is rotating in the shoulders. As opposed to just bending the elbow, I want you to rotate right shoulder down. Left shoulder down, right shoulder down, left shoulder down. Last one. All right, lift back up, push into your hands. Your butt's going to come up in the air. Downward facing dog, but just for a second, we're going to go more back there in a little bit and push yourself all the way up. Okay, so we're going to do some sun salutes, which is where we're bringing our arms all the way up. I'm going to go and bring my mat out a little so I don't hit the wall. All right, um, start at the front of your mat, toes straight ahead, right underneath your hips, okay? So your toes, your big toe is gonna be a little bit closer together than your heels. And then we're gonna bring our arms all the way up, tuck the tailbone under. So make sure you don't have that, that anterior tilt, but you're kind of tucking tailbone under. You reach, 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 reaching, grab your left hand, pull it to the right, exhale, back to center. Inhale, grab your right hand, pull to the left, back to center, and then exhale, drop all the way over the legs. You've got it. Hang out here just a little bit. Bend your right knee, bend your left, bend your right knee, and bend your left. Okay, plant into your hands and walk your left leg back and then your right, and we are going to hit up that downward facing dog a little bit longer. Pedal your feet as long as you would like. Slide your shoulder blades down. So if you want to drop your right heel down and then your left while bending the other knee, that's fine. Depending on how tight we are still, your body's going to want that and need that. So now drop into the shoulder blades. So the shoulder blades drive down the spine. 
Feel the belly engage. Belly button draws back and in. We're active in the core here, active in the back. Flex, flex, flex. Keep nice and strong. Shift forward into your plank. Hold your shoulders up over your wrist. Tuck your tailbone, belly engages. Now get that torque, just like we did in our wrist warm up. I want your elbows to squeeze in. Pull back toward your toes. Lift through the hips. Tuck through the tailbone. Grab through the core. One more inhale. And exhale. Lift your right foot and then bring your knee in toward your chin and then plant your foot inside both hands. So you're going to twist through the hips, pulling your right hip back and the left hip forward. Plant onto that left hand or fingertips. It's up to you, depending on how much uh, flexibility and rotation you have. We're going to lift our right arm twisting to the right. So try to keep your hips level. Let that arm open, twist through the mid back. A couple deep breaths here. Rotate that shoulder head down away from your ear. Flex into the thighs. So try not to just be passively stretching here. We're actively sitting into these poses. All right, bring your right arm down. We're gonna push the right leg back and go back into our downward facing dog. Slide those shoulder blades down. Belly engages. Walk your feet back to your hands. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, bring your right arm over. Sorry, left arm over to the right, pulling with your right hand. Inhale, center. Pull your right arm to the left. Inhale, center. Dive forward. Really squeeze between the shoulder blades. Feel the core. Stay strong and engaged. Lean over those legs a second. And then walk back, downward facing dog. Spread your fingertips out wide. Hide your heels behind your feet. See how close you can get your heels to the ground. See how high you can get your butt up in the air. See how flexed you can grab the belly. Hollow out the armpits, slide the shoulder blades down your spine. Grab the core. Next exhale, drive forward into your plank. I'm gonna take five deep focus breaths here. Push into the hands. Feel some dome in the upper back. Grab the belly and lift the hips and tuck the tailbone under. You want to find some traction between your arms, your hands, and your toes. Last inhale and exhale. Okay, bring your left foot up. Tuck your knee toward your chin and then plant your left foot between your hands. Sink a little bit deeper, pull that right hip forward, left hip back, plant onto your right hand and rotate to the left. So lift the left arm high into the air. Stack up your shoulders. Let your right hip sink. Where's the core? Keep it strong. Pull your back toes toward your left heel. Left heel toward your back toes. Now push your feet away. So hopefully if your mat is grippy enough, you can get that push and pull and feel different kind of flexions through the legs. Okay, bring your left arm down. Lift that toe, push it back, downward facing dog, and then walk your feet up to your hands. Inhale, bring your arms all the way up. Grab your left hand, pull to the right. Exhale, inhale up. Grab your right hand, pull to the left. And 
inhale up. Exhale, dive forward. So you're still flexing, engaging in control, holding contraction. Lift your toes, spread them wide and set them down. Grab through the core, step each leg back and you're gonna go back into your downward facing dog. Push into those hands, drive your hips up and back, slide your shoulder blades down, find all those little positions we talked about last time and then lift your right leg nice and high into the air. Push deep through that left heel, Grab as much as you can through the core. Slide both shoulder blades down. Hold nice and strong. You've got it. Slide the chest back deeper towards your thigh. And then bring your right leg up and outside your right hand. So this is a lizard lunge. You're going to drop the hips down. And you can let your right knee drop out to the side a little bit. Keep both hands on the ground. If you'd like to, you can drop your elbows down one at a time. Keep flexion through the thighs. That lift through the hips by flexing into the thighs. Belly strong, shoulder blades down the back. Okay, if you're on your elbows, push back onto your hands. All right, and then we're gonna have a little fun here. So get, get into the position however you would like. We are gonna go into a side plank on our hand. If you prefer to drop onto the elbow, keep the elbow on the ground. But what we're gonna do is plant into that left hand. Slowly lift your right foot off the ground, place it out onto the left foot, and then lift up nice and high. Grab the core, push the chest open, tuck your tailbone under. Keep breathing. Hold the height in that oblique. One more inhale. With your exhale, Drop your right hand down and rotate to a plank. Hold your plank. So we're going to just get it set up. Elbows tuck in. Tailbone tucks under. Flex deep through the abdomen. Lots and lots and lots of core. Wrap through those thighs. Deep inhale. Next exhale, drive back. Downward facing dog. So now we're gonna push all the pressure into that right foot, lift the left leg up nice and high, and hold here. Slide your shoulder blades down. See if you can find flexion in your triceps core, your back, the lifted glute, stretch hamstring and calf on the ground, lift just a little higher, push evenly through both arms, deep inhale, next exhale, bring that left leg forward and outside your left hand, lizard lunge on the left. Okay, if you would like, you can drop onto your elbows. You do not have to. That left knee can kind of drop away from you a bit. If it's all just a little too bendy, you can grab some hooks or a block or pillow. Something of a hard surface would be better to place where your hands would be and bring them up a little higher. Getting a little, uh, Little sweat on here. Find that grip between your toes, right? Plant onto your right hand. You're gonna lift the left arm, bring that left leg up and pull it back to meet the right foot. Stack your shoulders, stack your hips. Uh, 
spine flexion in the back, underneath that right armpit, through the belly, the thighs, pull your kneecaps up toward your hips. On your next exhale, easy drop your left hand down, rotate your hips and hold your plank. Press into that thumb and first finger, tuck your tailbone, find flexion in the core, triceps back, find that torque in the arms. All right, on your next exhale, push into the hands. <sighs> Slide the shoulder blades down. You're in your down dog. Walk your hands back to your feet. All right, let's give those wrists a little break. Pull the uh, palms so they point at the sky. Backs of the hands on the ground. If you're not able to touch the ground, you're going to come together like this, pushing your palms on each other as you just hinge forward. All right, we're going to take our little sun salute. So inhale, bring those arms up. Grab your left hand. Exhale and pull to the right. Come to center. Inhale. Grab your right hand. Pull to the left. Oh, that's sad. Inhale up. Exhale over. Okay, we're gonna walk it out again. Plant into those hands. Find your downward facing dog. Slide the shoulder blades down. Belly contracts. Okay, inhale, bring your right leg up. You're in your three-legged dog. Shift forward into a plank. And then pull the knee towards your chin. Round the back, try to tuck that toe under ah, and set it right between the hands. All right, pull the left hip forward, right hip back, and then you're going to bring your arms up. Bend your back knee and then bring both arms up overhead. Find traction between the front heel and back toe. If you'd like to put your knee on the ground, you can. The back knee. We're finding isometric hold, flexing into the thighs, flexing into the shoulders, flexing into the arms and hands. Belly holds strong. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, open to the right, both arms. Keep flexed. Front knee stays right on top of the heel, pulling toward the pinky toe side of the foot. Bring your right arm down. Both arms up, and then we're going to try to push onto our right foot. Okay, and then do whatever feels good with your hands. You can put fingertips on the ground. Level off the hips. This is where I have the toughest part, toughest time, is trying to get my hips level. You can plant your hands at the heart. Still building flexion through the arms by pushing your hands into one another. Try to drop the left hip. Flex the core, flex the back. Your right leg should be hot, on fire. Soft knee, long back. Rotate so your hips are squared. And then we're gonna come up to standing. Ah, inhale. Come all the way up. Whew. Shake out your legs. Inhale. Bring both arms up. Exhale. Grab your left hand. Pull to the right. Inhale to center. Exhale. Grab your left right hand and pull to the left. 
Inhale to center. Exhale, drop your arms down. Walk both feet back. Downward facing dog. Grab deep through the core. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Shift forward into a plank. Shoulders over the wrist, bring your knee to the chin. Tuck through the belly, round through the back. Grab the core, plant your foot. Okay, square off your hips. Right hip pulls forward, left hip pulls back. Drop your back left, right knee a little. And then bring your arms up. Traction between both feet. Front heel pulls back. Right toes pull forward. Tuck your tailbone under. Squeeze your biceps back behind you. Create flexion through the arms. With your exhale, open your arms to the left. Reach through those fingertips. Left arm comes down. Bring it back up. Push off the right leg into the left. Find your balance. Your right leg is pointed back. Try to get those hips level. Hands to heart or use them to help balance. Slide the shoulder blades down. Grab the belly, flex into the thigh, lengthen the back, lift the back leg, focus. <clears throat> okay, inhale, come on up, plant your foot. Shake it out. Inhale. Bring those right arms or those arms up. Exhale over the thighs. Reach toward the ground. Okay, bend your knees and we're gonna come into uh, come on to the ground. <clears throat> so just take a seat. You're gonna keep your knees bent, pull your feet. Pretty wide, point your hands so the fingertips are facing your booty. If you need to, you can end up twisting them around, but as much as possible, try to face those fingertips towards your heels. Slide the shoulder blades down, lift the chest, engage the core, and then push your hips as high as you can. So maybe they're here, that's okay. Our goal is to try to get some stretch through the front of the shoulders. If you can get your hips all the way up, <clears throat> then find that counter flex between the core, the glutes, the hamstrings. Push into the heels and pull the heels back towards your fingertips. Keep those hips pressing. Stretch through the shoulders. Let your head slowly drop back. Look behind you, stay here, or bring your chin back in. I like to keep my chin tucked in. Okay, push your hips towards your heels. Slowly lower your hips down, and then release through the hands. Shake those arms out, kind of crisscross your arms up overhead. Okay, we're gonna flip back around again. So come into your low squat, yogi squat. Drop into those hips, knees out wide with toes. Push your knees open. 
And then go ahead and plant your hands. Push your booty up. We're going to go back into our plank. <clears throat> Shoulders over the wrists. Fingertips nice and wide. Five deep breaths here. Okay, we're going to lower all the way onto our belly. So push your chest forward a little bit. Shoulders are in front of your elbows, in front of your fingertips. Lower all the way down. All right. Now, <clears throat> release your feet. Tuck your glutes. Flex your booty a lot. Flex the core a lot. Tuck into your chin. Slide the shoulder blades down. Lift your back. So your hands are on the ground, but you're trying to barely use them. So you're lifting your back by flexing through those shoulder blades. Tuck your chin in, flex your glutes. Exhale, lower down, inhale. Lower up, squeeze through that upper back, squeeze through the glutes. Exhale, lower down, three more. Inhale, lift, squeeze shoulder blades together. Create space between ears and shoulders. Exhale down, keep your glutes going strong. Inhale up, exhale down, one more. Up and squeeze, space between ears and shoulders, flex those glutes, exhale, down. Put your left ear on the ground, release your arms, shake through your hips. So just let your hips rock left and right. And then twist your head over to the other side. Keep shaking those hips. Okay. Bring your body up, your upper body. Put your left arm parallel to the front of the mat. Take your right hand and grab the inside of your right foot. And then see if you can get your arm to rotate around. So you grab the inside of the foot. And then you're going to slowly point your toes back toward your shoulder, fingertips down toward the shin and knee, and then push the heel toward the thigh. Now drive the knee, knee back into the ground. So your toes are pushing into the hands. Get that little stretch on the shoulder, stretch through the quad, keep your glutes gently engaged to protect your low back, and then release. Other side. Right arm parallel to the ground. Grab the inside of your left foot with your left hand. And then rotate your fingertips down toward the knee. <sighs> kind of activate your quad to push the knee into the ground. Foot into the hand. You stretch your shoulder. And you're getting that little quad stretch too. And then release. <sighs> All right. Drop your chest back down. Tuck your chin in. Grab your hands behind your back. And release your fingertips and then pull your wrists up off your hips. Slide your shoulder blades down and your chest is lifting. Keep your chin tucked in. My hands are all sweaty. Tuck, tuck, lift, lift, squeeze those shoulder blades. And then relax. Okay, put your left arm out at a 90 degree angle away from the body. Then push your body over that left arm. Take your right leg behind, place the foot on the ground, and lift the knee up, and then have it kind of rock back. And that kind of pull, the weight of the knee, is gonna pull into the shoulder. Be nice to those shoulders. There actually is such a thing as overstretching, so just be gentle. All right, back to center. <clears throat> right arm is going to push out away from you, 90 degree angle in the armpit, and then rotate your body to the right over that arm, and then your left foot comes on the ground, left knee is pulling your back into that twist, feel a nice stretch in the chest and shoulder. <sighs> Uh, 
All right, rotate back down. We're gonna turn all the way over onto our back. <clears throat> Hug both knees into your chest, nice and tight, especially after our little back lifts. We wanna reverse the direction of the back. You can kind of rotate around through the hips or the knees, whatever. This kind of helps massage your back a teeny bit. <sighs> okay, lower your head all the way down. Extend your right leg long. Push your left knee to the right with your left arm out. Nice little back pop. Push your left shoulder into the ground, your palms on the ground. Extend your left leg along. Tuck your right knee in. Push it over to the left. Okay, so like I was saying, we're going to really focus on nourishing our body. This week, start with a glass of lemon water in the morning. Check in and see if you're getting foods high with omega-3s. Rotate back to center. Bring your knees bent, feet on the ground, feet are together, and then open your knees wide. So just like we have been doing with our butterfly stretch, but we're going to start lying for today. <clears throat> so omega-3s, your greens, foods high in antioxidants, rest. So maybe just this week, focus a little bit more on your sleep patterns. It's tough. I know my family goes to bed later than I would prefer, and I like to stay up with them to interact. But, you know, it'd be smart at least every few weeks to take a week to rebuild some of those healthy sleep patterns. Take a little magnesium before bed, possibly. Bring your knees in, rock and roll up. We're gonna put those legs wide into our butterfly stretch here again. Soles of the feet together, interlace your hands around your toes and then lift the chest. Try to drop those knees down toward the ground. Um, maybe try to switch your phone off a little bit earlier. So if you're going to bed at 10, turn it off at eight. If you're going to bed at eight, turn it off at six. All right, twist over that left thigh. It's scary at first, but then people start to recognize that they can't get a hold of you past a certain time. And then turn to the right. Those smartphones are smart too. You can create it so only your family members can get a hold of you if you have teenagers out and about. <laughs> um, open your feet. We're going to come into our low squat. <clears throat> Maybe read before bed, journal, meditate instead of watching TV or being on your phone. You can do a pre-bed stretch routine. Get outside in your bare feet, walk around on the grass or in the sand. All right, come up into a forward fold, plant those hands, drop your chest just a little more. And then slowly round, come all the way up. All right, day one done. And I'm looking forward to another four days to really focus on giving back into our bodies. And I will see you tomorrow. Great job.